Hello, my name is Mr. Conductor, and this is a story about an island located in the Irish Sea named Sodor. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's most famous for its railway, a railway unlike any other. Meet Thomas. He's probably the most famous engine here. He and his friends operate the railway, shunting trucks and hauling freight all around the island. This is just an average day in the life of an engine on Sodor. And here's the biggest station on the island, Nafford Station, which just so happens to be where our story begins. Hello, Thomas. It's been a while. Oh, I forgot. You've never seen my gold dust. It allows me to travel from my home to Sodor. It takes a few minutes, but it gets the job done better than any boat or plane. Wow, it's gotten messy since I was last here. Wasn't there a crane right there? Oh, I can't understand that. Are these your coaches? They look smart today. Now, go ahead and take me to Natford. I need to get to Sir Tom Hatt's office and read what he left for me. Oh, don't you worry, Thomas. I'll just use my sparkle to keep an eye on him. Now let's get to the station. Must keep time, you know. Okay, let's see. Make sure the ironworks diesels stay in line. Keep an eye out for Farmer McCall's cattle. Talk with Mr. Percival about expending the line. Make sure no one goes near. Boulder Quarry? That's a new one. Hello? Ah, Sir Topham Hatt! Good afternoon, sir! I hope you and Mrs. Hatt are having a good time on holiday. You saw Stepney? Well, that's nice indeed. Yes, I found some of your instructions in your top right drawer here in your office. The safe? Oh, yes, sir. I'll check that. Right, eighty four oh nine nine. Right, eighty four oh nine eighty nine. There we go. So these are top secret instructions. Am I correct? Oh, good. Well, sir, I can tell you. I will make sure everything goes according to plan. I will be responsible, reliable, and really useful. Tell Mrs. Had I said hi. Goodbye, sir. Have a great vacation. Good evening, everyone. I can see you're all tired after a good day's work. Well done. Now, since the top head is on holiday, what's so funny? Well, I'm here on his behalf to take care of you all while he takes a much-needed holiday, so he's left me with a list of jobs that you'll need to do before he gets back. Ahem. <coughs> James? <clears throat> James, you're to go to the coaling plant and transport coal all over the island. There's lots of work to be done, and you'll be responsible for making sure everyone can do their jobs. Oliver will help you. Gordon, you're to continue taking the express as usual. Thomas, Percy, you're both to work on the branch line and deliver the mail on time. Henry, the flying kipper will be due on Tuesday, so make sure to deliver it. It will be a lot bigger than you used too, so be careful and watch for repairs on the line. Duck, you'll be in charge of making sure repairs are made up and down the line. The breakdown crane will be located in the Nafford goods shed. Be ready to respond to any emergencies. That seems to be the important bits on here. Everything else is just daily trains. I'll be sure to inform you all of any changes he has me make. Hmm. No, Thomas, it doesn't seem to say anything about a new diesel. That's strange. Maybe he ordered for one after he wrote this? Oh, uh, hello. I'm Mr. Conductor. What's your name? Oh, sorry about that, Derek. I'm looking for something. Well, someone. Yes, I'm looking for a diesel. Thomas and the others told me that there's a new diesel on the island. And the notes Sir Topham had gave me don't mention him. I can't seem to find him, no matter where I go. Yep, no luck. Guess I'll keep searching. You have a good night, Derek. Hope I'll see you again. Oh, that's just my sparkle, James. It allows me to move myself or other things out of harm's way. That car nearly hit me, so I simply moved it out of the way. Well, I've never really tried, James, but...
But if I can move a car, then I should be able to move an engine. Well, I guess there's no real harm in trying. Well, James, I think that was a good test. Now, how about I send you back to the coal mine? Now, to find about those buffers. The Magic Railroad's supposed to let me go anywhere, but every day I keep seeing buffers disappear. What's happening? Too late, Diesel! I was almost too late there. You're lucky I was nearby. Was that the Diesel Thomas mentioned? I never seen one like that. You have James to thank for that. He and I found out I can teleport engines with gold dust. At least small ones like you and him. Come on, we should get you back to the sheds. I say you earned it. Okay, Thomas. You should be ready for tonight. Your last stop is Brendam Docks. Percy will carry on from there. Don't forget to be really useful. Now hurry. I heard Farmer McCall ordered some for dinner and he needs it by morning. So get to it. Let go of me now, Diesel. Or I swear, I'll have you kick off this island before you can say trouble. A deal? With you? Don't make me laugh, Diesel. I never help you. The steam engines haven't done anything wrong to you. Why do you want them gone? Wait. Wait, Diesel. I'll help you. Sure. All right. But I need my arm first. My whistle. It's in my other hand. Let's get out of here, Percy! Quick thinking, Percy. Good job. If it hadn't been for that, we wouldn't have been toast. He tried threatening me to help him. I managed to transport us to Nafford, but I had no idea anyone would be there. That was a silly gambit. Well, I know Cranky probably wouldn't have helped me. Hmm... Well, thank you for the help, Percy. Now go on and finish your work. As far as I'm considered, you're the bravest engine I know. So, why not help us out? And we can get you something else to do. You two fill us in on Diesel's plan, and I'll put in a word to Sir Tom Hatt about giving you a job. The island could always use more help. So, do we have a deal? What do he mean by tonight? What's his plan? He couldn't mean the sheds, could he? I know, Thomas, but how? You won't destroy us, Diesel! N not if I have anything to say about it. Now! Let's get out of here! You're doing great, Thomas. Just keep going! That's what you think, Diesel. We just had to find a set of buffers, Thomas. Then it'll be over. Never mind that. Keep going. Yes, a set of buffers. We're home free now, Thomas. I'm sorry, Thomas. It looks like this is the end. You're a really useful engine, Thomas. Thomas? Wait a minute. This is... I, I think this is the Magic Railroad. Yes, but... I didn't use my whistle. How are we here? That's impossible. You need gold dust to even get here. I have no idea, honestly. Getting from Shining Time to Sonor usually doesn't take a long. I usually just have to think of where I want to go. An engine? There's no engine in here, Thomas. Aside from you. Look, there are some buffers up ahead. That's our way out. Well, I appreciate all of you worrying about us, but we had lots of work to do. Diesel's been taken care of, but we need to put James back on the rails and need to clear up the mess at the scrapyard on top of all the jobs you have to do anyway. And as for you, Thomas, you've earned a well-deserved break. Well, who am I to stop you? No, not really, Thomas. I'm just confused. I phoned Sir Tom Head, told him everything, but the confusion part came up when I asked about the new diesel. That's the thing, Thomas. He looked through his language and found a piece of paper I was meant 
to have describing a new diesel that's due to arrive here soon. Problem was, it wasn't a big diesel. It's meant to be a shunter for the docks. I guess Diesel found out about Sir Top Hat's new diesel and slipped through onto the island. Well, no use worrying about it now. Sir Top Hat will be back by tonight. He had a fun time on the mainland. Now that brings me to another problem. I've run out of gold dust, so I can't use the magic railroad to get me home. So I need your help again, Thomas. Would you go into the magic railroad and bring me home? Whoa! Have you ever turned off the edge of a cliff, Dougie? Of course I'm going to shake. Quickly, Douglas, uncover your chunks. I'll take them away and find help. No, I need new buffers. Of course I need help. Thanks, lads. Thought I was done for. Aye, thanks, Doc. Aye, remember me?